I'll take you through a few of the design details on, uh, on the 500E. Typically, uh, we won't show images of uh, the car in the tunnel, especially to start a design presentation, but um, as Brett mentioned, this was a really important uh, objective to the car, was to, to really hit the aerodynamic target. So as he mentioned, early in the, in the development, we got together and determined what parts of the car would be best to change to meet the, the targets. And obviously, he sit on uh, all of those, you can see them labeled here on the slide. And what it did uh, for us is it, uh, it centered our focus around those elements. And as Tim mentioned in his opening remarks, um, this really wanted to be a 500, not necessarily an electric vehicle. So we maintained the iconic profile of the 500, the strong character and the proportions of the car. We really focused on uh, the areas above here uh, to give it its unique character. And it uh, worked out in a good way. We used um, a lot of inspiration in the beginning, uh, true, to, true to Fiat's ethos, to really keep the design simple, uh, modern, obviously accessible, uh, clean. We uh, looked at a lot of uh, modern architecture, modern furniture from, from the 50s and 60s, obviously Italian in nature, but in, in, in all uh, areas as well. Even, uh, even some modern, uh, more up-to-date uh, designs. Mark Newsom uh, on some of the top images is a, a well-known uh, industrial designer these days and a lot of the geometric pattern we, uh, we developed from that. Uh, the, the egg chair which again that's a, a modern piece from, from 1958 from uh, Jacobson. So really just wanted to create kind of a, a fun uh, pop, uh, really interesting but still true to, true to its modern roots. Um, with the interior, we started with the black uh, environment. We developed a new color called Steam, which is a light color. We used that on the instrument panel, the door panel, and also the seats. We took the orange color, again, uh, very important to us in the early stages to develop a color scheme that would relate both interior and exterior. And, you know, typically for, for a for an environmentally friendly vehicle, you'd see colors like green, like blue. Uh, for Fiat, we really wanted to do something that had a little more pop, had a little more energy to it. We wanted to do uh, something new, make a new statement. So we developed the orange color, again, true to kind of some of those inspirational images from the beginning. And uh, infused that into the steering wheel, the door panel, and, and the accents on the seats. Even the E logo has that orange color. Uh, there's stitching detail on the seats and the floor mats as well. Uh, again, the dot matrix pattern that you see on the seats there, we've reflected that in the exterior of the vehicle in the front and rear and also on the side sill as well. Uh, it's a unique pattern, obviously functional on the, uh, the front and rear. Uh, in addition, Brett and uh, Matt touched on the TFT cluster uh, in the center of the steering wheel, which we're really proud of, uh, a round cluster that's full color. Also, the push-button shifter from a design standpoint was a really unique feature that we were able to, to uh, develop uh, unique to this vehicle. So again, the exterior, I've mentioned a lot of the details. We worked on the front fascia, again, keeping a very clean, modern approach, very simple, very timeless. Uh, flush aero wheels, again, to meet the, uh, the aero objectives. Uh, the front and rear fascias and sill have a lower emphasis, um, again, to kind of create that unique look. Uh, the new mirror cap and, and spoiler as well. So in the development, we, uh, you know, I'll say maybe midway through, we started to think about uh, the full spectrum of customers that might want to buy the electric vehicle. And we thought to ourselves, we've got a, a unique proposal with the light interior and the, you know, the feature uh, orange color on the exterior as well. But we re really wanted to kind of go in and say, what can we do to appeal to a more masculine customer? Uh, maybe have a more serious approach, a more sporty approach. Uh, during the development, we started to understand the performance attributes of the car. Knowing that the car would perform very well, we thought this was an appropriate idea uh, to create a more, uh, more serious, more uh, masculine approach. So we developed, again, kind of an image board to show the potential. With the interior of this one, we did a full black environment uh, that you can see uh, on the image there. Again, still with the accents of orange on the steering wheel, the seats, uh, the floor mat, and the logo. Uh, the dot matrix pattern is just reversed on the seat, so it's a, a dark and a light detail. 
So we match that with the, with the exterior elements, the, the black front and rear valances. We've tied those together with this package uh, to give it, again, more of, a, more of an aggressive uh, masculine look on the exterior. We also developed something we call the e-sport e package, and we wanted to kind of look at how far we could push the image of the vehicle. So we saw in the marketplace, when we look at our competitors, that most, uh, most EVs have kind of a, a friendly, sort of eco, unique look, and we felt that with the performance of this car, and also the fact that it's a true 500, that we could take this in this direction and give it, give it a little attitude for those who, who want to uh, we want to have that. So on this one, we tie in the black wheel face with the orange details on the wheel. We tie that to the orange mirror cap, the graphic along the side on the uh, lower part of the vehicle, and it'll, it'll come with the body color spoiler. So this is a summary slide that gives you all of the detail of uh, the two color packages. On the top of the slide, the light interior the steam interior will go across all of those vehicle colors. That's tied to the white accents on the faces, so you can see that in the images across the top. The tricoat orange is the, you know, sort of the feature color uh, for the EV. It'll be available in, in tricoat white, silver, gray, and black. So that'll be the availability on the light interior. When you order a black interior, you'll you'll have the availability of, of all of those colors as well. Um, and you can see how the, uh, the eSport package is positioned off of each one of those. Um, one other just last detail to mention, on the black interior, you'll get a matching color coordinated to the exterior matte IP bezel. That's the one difference in the two interiors. On the white interior, it's always, always the steam color. So with that, uh, that's all I have on the uh, design portion. Of